Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight into it. So it looks like we might have some insight on who our girl Sweetie is dating after the famous British actor Dameson Idris posted a video onto his Insta story of Sweetie at what seems like his house playing or teaching him how to play the piano he posted this video and said at sweetie my teacher sweetie also reposted this and put the music notes emojis and now once this was posted onto a couple of blog pages and y'all already know it had to be posted onto the shade room some people were here for it some people actually think that these two are dating while some other ladies just wasn't here for it they were like uh -huh, sweetie is about to take my man now for the people who don't know who this heartthrob is dameson interest like i said he is a popular you know british actor and he's well known for playing on the show snowfall an awesome show if you guys haven't seen it definitely check it out but i want to know you guys thoughts and opinions about this do you think that sweetie and dameson idris are actually dating or do you think that they may just be friends now in my opinion look i at the comment section and i've seen some people say that sweetie looked like she she was comfortable she looked like she was cozy she had her shoes off and everything and plus you know she's teaching him you know what i'm saying and that takes a little minute to teach somebody how to play the piano so we know that she was there for a while and also like i've been telling you guys sweetie has been talking about her dating someone in my last video with sweetie in it i let you guys know that sweetie was talking to cash doll and amber rose about how she took this bomb picture with this guy that she's dating and she wanted to post it but she didn't want people to figure out who it was now i'm pretty sure this guy who sweetie is dating wouldn't be okay with her at dameson idris house playing the piano or teaching him how to play the piano and him recording a video and posting it so it has to be him Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. This is who I think it is, but y'all definitely let me know who y'all think it is. Let's go ahead and move into our next topic. Now, in Ali Chopper, he released his song and video jumping onto YouTube about four days ago. And I have to say, the quality of the video is not only great, but the video actually tells a story. A lot of people loved it. You guys should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already. It's trending at number four on YouTube right now. Now, like a lot of other artists and rappers like to do uh, they will create a challenge or a dance to put on tiktok so they can get more streams for their song so i'm guessing this is what nle choppa he decided to do he made up this dance for his song jumping and i have to say child mm, this dance is definitely different now as you guys can see right here on the screen this is nle choppa's jumping challenge and there's a part in the challenge i guess where you have to act like you're having a siege now once this was posted onto a couple of blog pages and even on nle choppa's tiktok people were just like yeah no i'm not doing it and honestly i can't blame people there's a lot of different tiktok dances out there but i think this one takes the cake and i don't want to act like i'm having a siege just to do a challenge like that's a little too much i don't know maybe in a leech hopper just didn't think this all the way through but hopefully there's another big tiktoker who makes up another dance for his song because i definitely think the song is popping like i think it's good but this dance eh, it's not it y'all let me know will y'all be participating in the jumping challenge will y'all be doing this dance or eh, y'all not doing it let me know in the comments section anyways we all know that summer walker she dropped her album still over it not too long ago and it's safe to say it's still going crazy people love it we just seen g herbo riding around vibing to her new album and it seems like kelly Rowland just the other day she was feeling it as well now we know that most of the songs that was on the album summer walker wrote about her baby father london on the track but i think what a lot of us didn't know until some people looked it up and i believe it's also on apple music was that london on the track is actually listed as one of the writers for some of the songs so this was very very shocking so he posted a couple of pictures onto his instagram today and on the last slide he posted a tweet from someone that said london on the track is the first dude in history to get paid off his own diss album now once this was posted by london on the track the shade room decided to repost it and people were in the comment section they were like we've been played we've been bamboozled we've been tricked 
tricked. There's a whole plot twist here. They're thinking, oh, Summer Walker, she went through all of this stuff with her baby father, London, on the track. That's how she decided to make this album. While meantime, he's actually sitting there helping her write the album. That's what people were thinking. So Summer Walker, she decided to go under the Shade Room's post in the comment section to clear up the rumors and to get this straight. She said he didn't write nothing and he didn't produce anything either. He just handpicked the dudes that he wanted to do all of the work and attach his name to it while he was out screwing. You know what? While I was pregnant, the most that he did was sprinkle a win a chime effect on a song that was already done, then put his name on it. The last album, he actually did the work and it was a great project. He's super talented, but for this album, LOL, no sir. But I guess, guess the City Boys is up taking credit for this ish. You ain't a do and not actually having to take care of the kids you made, LOL. I'ma go back to minding my business. This just shocked the you know what out of me. So that was Summer Walker basically clearing things up, letting London on the track. No, look, you didn't even put in that much work. Don't get too hyped about yourself. Now, I'm thinking that this might lead to an argument between London on the track and Summer Walker. These two are no stranger to arguing on social media. Either London on the track, he's going to show some type of proof that he did more than what Summer Walker is saying that he did, or he's just going to leave it alone and let Summer Walker say what she's saying because he knows that it is the truth. I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like any type of work that you put in on an album or anything you should get some type of credit for but with him reposting that tweet it almost seems like he did more than what summer walker is saying that he did y'all let me know what y'all believe in the comment section below do you feel like london on the track put in a lot of work on the album or do you feel like you know he's faking he didn't really put in that much work do you believe our girl summer walker let me know in the comment section below anyways guys let's go ahead and get into our last topic which is going to be our girl erica banks and ty taylor now just the other day on site they reposted a picture that erica banks posted and it was basically her showing her body transformation from 2019 to 2021 now even though a lot of people in the comments they was like uh, it looks like she got a bbl some plastic surgery you know it was a dramatic difference now what i didn't notice for the longest time about erica banks and ty taylor is that these two actually look alike when i looked in the comment section almost everyone was posting saying the same thing that erica banks looks exactly like ty taylor now i went ahead and put some pictures together so you guys can let me know if you feel like these two look alike in my opinion i actually think they do look alike and i can't believe it took this long to see that they did look alike like i said i will have those pictures at the end of this video y'all let me know in the comment section below do you think that these two look alike or yeah you don't think they look alike anyways guys let me know what you think about these four topics in my comment section once again my lovely tts thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and of course i will see you in the next video